Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own love reading, Capricorn, and uh, mm -hmm, interesting reading so far. I feel like it is. So we have some oracle cards for you guys, and this is for anybody really who has a lot of Capricorn or anybody who just resonates with it, right? You don't necessarily have to be Capricorn. Uh, and so, you know, we have the Sun card and the King of Wands here from this particular deck. Um, and so, you know, you could be dealing with a fire sign for sure. The apple is here, Capricorn, and this somebody has a lot of passion for you and uh, like lust, right? And uh, let's say passion because lust sometimes, you know, for some people says, you know, they oh God, you know, sounds like they just want to jump my bones. Uh, but it's, you know, it's not about that. It's just about passion, I believe. The wings are here. It's a brand new beginning in love. Or somebody wants to make their dreams come true. Now, this is you, of course. But, you know, the reading could be switched as well. We also have Flannery here. You could be trying to reckon with an ending. Like, accept it and do the best you can, possibly. Uh, or this is your person. Maybe this is this king of wands. Maybe they're Leo right with the sun but the boar is also here i don't mean the boar like somebody's a real boar oh my god you're a boar okay can you yeah i can't deal with boars no too much fun over here but the boar is usually about anger and aggression maybe somebody was angry here yeah it can it can be about like danger maybe somebody felt like there was going to be danger here if they maybe made their dreams come true with you possibly uh which sounds kind of weenie-ish right it does mm -hmm. but this king of wands in this deck can talk about somebody who's a family man uh somebody who might be kind of powerful here in their own right but at the same time maybe indecisive and weak interesting right Mm hmm. And this sun card talks about a journey. Somebody wants to take a journey with you. Yeah, it's kind of like that song with Nelly, right? If you want to go take a ride with me, <laughs> smoke a joint in the something like that. Smoke a joint in the back of the car. So yeah, I can't I can't think of the word, but it's a little fun. It's, it's a cool song, right? I'm not saying you guys want to smoke weed at all. I'm saying, uh, you know, he's just trying to invite her because, uh, He's into her. Yeah. And, you know, the whole smoking thing is, you know, beside the point. But let's see what else we have. <laughs> That's in the second uh, the second verse. So maybe I should have just sang the first one. The financial issues card. Your person probably has financial issues. And this uh, king of wands can be about indecisiveness. Maybe this is the whole reason why. Healing. Maybe somebody's healing here. And we have unrequited love. All right. And so... Mm -hmm. you know really interesting here about this unrequited love because uh, I don't feel like this is it's like somebody's in love with you but just because it says I feel like somebody is here but just because it says unrequited love it maybe it felt like that because with the wings here and the apple and this I don't think this is unrequited maybe they turned you down right or maybe they won't let you Maybe it's you want a full union and it's not happening, something like that. But this looks does it does it looks like love to me, not unrequited. They'll never let you go. Mm hmm Maybe they couldn't uh do it with you, Capricorn, or have this union with you because of these financial issues, right? Yeah. Mm hmm So let's see what we else what else we have for Capricorn and uh where are those other cards at? Mm-hmm. Well, here they are. Let's see what we have. And we're going to use the Appalachian Divination today. We are. Mm -hmm. Maybe this person is lying to themselves, Capricorn, because we see the self-deception card. I'll just take it because it was wanting to fly out. So let's see what we have for Capricorn, please. Hope you guys are all well. In case I didn't say that. Let's see what we have. We have the broken trinity. It's in the reverse. Unless I flip the cards. No, let's see what else we have. The king of hearts. This is somebody who loves or somebody who is very much loved. And and we have the trillium flower. I feel like it's, or the galax. This is the galax flower. It's in the reverse. And we have the joker. And so this joker Capricorn is this little Scotty dog. 
yeah and uh you guys know what a scotty is right they're real cute they're little dogs and they're kind of uh kind of little barky dogs kind of but uh you know this uh he has uh red eyes here like red piercing eyes really little and he is the devil that's what he is so and this is usually somebody who is kind of jealous or maybe somebody who you know is kind of wishing ill on somebody right so let's see and there could be somebody here who is really jealous here there could be mm -hmm. i feel like what somebody is trying to do is your person capricorn you or your person is trying to is indecisive about accepting an ending with this humanity card because she had to she had to Flannery O'Connor, right, with her very Irish name, right, she wanted to be some type of, I'm not sure, maybe it was humanitarian, but she uh, just finished her college, something like that, she, maybe, maybe she was even in her clinicals or her internship, but long story short, uh, she was headed for a great career, and she got lupus, right, which is this, you know, autoimmune, basically your body attacks you, for me, a lot of those things are, are from what, you know, these people are telling you guys to take, right? Put into your body. Mm-hmm. Some of these problems can be fixed with just organic soaps. Yeah, they can. Organic uh, and not, not using commercial products. I'm not kidding. But long story short, let's get back to the story here because, right, uh, I feel like just looking at this reading here that somebody wants to, somebody's angry here with the boar and the joker. This is not your person or you. Unless you turned into a witch overnight, Capricorn. You didn't tell me about it. You said, I'm so pissed off uh, at this person that I have to turn myself into a little witch. And, you know, it's a little devil. And you could be really kind of uh, doing a good job about hiding it because nobody would think this little dog, <laughs> he looks really innocent, right? So let's see what we have for you guys here. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to accept an ending here, but they have financial issues and they're probably married to the Wicked Witch of the West over here or possibly, you know, dealing with somebody here that they don't really kind of want to deal with. Remember that this King of Wands could be a family man who's indecisive. Eight of Wands and kind of weak. Can you believe this stuff? It says weak and powerful. But, you know, we could be weak and powerful at the same time. You could be very strong about some aspects in your life and weak about others. For sure. It's, you know, two of swords. The lovers is showing up here uh, with the Hierophant. You have the Queen of Wands now. I feel like this is a karmic, uh, a soulmate couple, twin flame, most likely here. Yeah, this person, uh, Capricorn, is lying to themselves, self-deception. They will never let you go. And they could be lying to themselves about possibly being able to deal with this ending. It's a possibility. Yeah, this is a deep storyline. For sure it is. Yeah, breaking news. Mm -hmm. Not the kind that they have in the mainstream uh, media because that is lying through your teeth news that's what that is let's see what else we have lying and uh brainwashing ass bs so let's see what else we have capricorn in your reading right mm -hmm. in the heart of the matter here is i believe a choice yeah your person i believe i feel like you feel like you kind of like your hands are tied there's nothing i can do about here right here about this here fit and the lovers about your person and about them choosing maybe they chose an ending with you maybe they didn't choose you and so it ended up uh the result is a decision has been made like an ending because it looks like your person didn't choose didn't decide so you know no decision is a decision right it is it means that it's going to go one way and that's it and you didn't really choose it to go that way, but that's how it's going to go now because uh, you didn't make kind of a a man a manly decision, sort of, right? You didn't make a, a a deliberate decision, I should say. And let's see what about these cards over here. We have the broken trinity in the reverse. I feel like it's better in the reverse. And this talks about uh, 
Sometimes somebody fighting all night long. Yeah, somebody could have been fighting all night long. Maybe they're jealous of you, Capricorn. Right? In this reading, especially with this dog. Right? With the, with the little piercing uh, red eyes. Mm -hmm. He's the devil. That's what he is. And that means that the devil is about. Like he exists. Like he's here. In your reading. Like there's somebody here that who wants, doesn't want this to work for you. They don't want this person to choose you, is my point. So let's look at the three of spades reversed. Yeah, let's find it here. <laughs> and uh, the spades are uh, very challenging cards, but in the reverse, it's uh, a little bit better. Kind of like swords here, these spades. Reverse, this shows harmony, balance, and overcoming of obstacles. However, this can be refuted by the cards around it. So, you know, okay. And, you know, it's possible here, Capricorn, that you're just, with this humanity card, you're just kind of accepting this ending and moving on. But I don't feel like you are here. No, I feel like you're still in love with this person. You could be trying to. On some level. You could be living your life, but, you know, when you go home at night, you kind of think about this, possibly. And the King of Hearts, about somebody you really love. The Joker, we know what that's about here. And let's see what this Eight of Clubs reversed. This is the Galax Flower. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Things will go wrong. Compare with other cards. So interesting here how we have obstacles can be overcome, the Broken Trinity. Uh, but we have things will go wrong here. This is because somebody's somebody's trying to stop this Capricorn. They are. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it says. Compare with the other cards for further information. Okay, I've seen this card shown with the four of spades. Uh, for somebody a week before a street deal went south and somebody got hurt. Maybe you're trying to do street deals, Capricorn. I told you about that stuff. You can get in trouble, right? Especially when they're trying to take away your right to protect yourself and your family, all right? Stay out of the street, Capricorn. So let's see what else we have here. <laughs> In the heart of the matter. Yeah, you wanted this person to choose, yeah, to choose you. I can tell in this reading here that you kind of feel like you're at their mercy. Of them, like, either having courage, maybe to accept an ending. They're, they, they, This person, excuse me, is in... A situation I believe where it's unrequited love and they're lying to themselves self-deception right here they're never gonna let you go Capricorn and you might kind of know this possibly and I feel like you're hoping that they never will and the financial issues this is why they're kind of lying to themselves right they could be married or in a situation with this little black dog here right who you know uh, could be a little scary here. So let's see what we have for your person. Or for you, right? And we have the star. All these majors here. And all these core cards. Yeah, you had the utmost hope for this. You did. You might be feeling, I don't know if I should even keep hope anymore because this person and their, and their, either their marriage or their belief systems or both. Because if we see self-deception, we know that somebody has some major belief issues here. Like old, old belief, outdated belief systems being controlled by, you know, family or faith here with this Hierophant card. And I don't mean in a good way, right? It's great if you have uh, family and faith. For me, that's, you know, that's it. What else is there besides family? And what else is there besides, for what I, th I think is faith? And I'm not a big, I haven't gone to church in like a year or so. But I'm just saying that, right? Faith and family is like, it's everything. Believing in the creator and your family is most important. But in this case, this person is being like indoctrinated or they have been 
in their life. Fooled that they're supposed to think a certain way. Probably watch too much TV or they believe these, you know, these bitches that are running things. Or they have been believed. They grew up like that. Or they grew up with parents who, who didn't know any better. And now they're the same way. So we have the Page of Cups here. You are hoping for an offer and that they would make a choice. Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. You want change here. You want communication. You want communication here. You could be expecting everything beautiful. It's just to turn out completely beautiful. If this person would just kind of, I believe also, uh, except here that they've been lying to themselves and they will because we have they'll never let you go so this person will wake up you could be saying well you know i'm 50 i don't have forever here right when you're 20 you're like oh you just think you're gonna live forever yeah you do and we have the two of swords six of pentacles mm -hmm. this person might have somebody right here two three people here you feel like your hands are tied here. Like the ball's in their court. I have to wait for, you know, them to kind of wake up, probably, most likely. Queen of Wands. Nine of Cups. This person is your major wish here. There's probably a fire sign here uh, because we have the king over here. This is a divine couple. And this is what they're trying to lie to themselves about. The Emperor and the, the Death card. This could be coming soon. This ending. This will come soon. Yeah, this definitely will come soon. I feel like it will. This person is going <clears> to... <throat> excuse me. They're going to choose transformation in their life. It's just the timing is unknown because they're lying to themselves. So here they are, you know, when you lie to yourself, you just like you fight, you fight the creator. You fight the natural flow of life. And so with that being said, you disturb what is really yours or what could happen for you, right? We have the Ace of Wands here. Four of Cups. And this is how other this person is affecting you. You feel like you might feel rejected here. I feel like this is made just unhappiness and disappointment because you wanted that Ace of Wands. You wanted this passionate new opportunity with them. And this is passionate. It is because we have the apple here. Majorly passionate. I feel like whoever this devil is over here, the joker with the little beady eyes, that person is, is going to have to deal with some type of an ending in the future. It's not you, Capricorn, no. Yeah, I feel like you're the one who's dealing with some type of an ending here or what you think is kind of an ending. But I feel like down the line, it's going to be somebody else. And this person's going to wake up and they're going to stop lying to themselves. It's interesting how our parents tell us when we're little, right? Don't, don't lie to other people. Don't lie, right? We're always taught like not to lie. I don't know what happened to my brother. Uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, he made it, you know, I feel like he made it, uh, he made it his business to lie <laughs> left and right. Yeah. And his whole thing is a lie, right? And then he's, he's such a liar, but he believes all these bitches who are in power, what they're doing. He believes them. I'm like, as shady as you are, I thought you would have been hip to it because they're up there with you, lying through their teeth. <laughs> and he believes them. You're like, what? You're... Okay, not only are you evil yourself, but you're stupid. Okay. 
You could be saying, God, you sound so cruel. Well, if you, if you knew him, you might not. You might think otherwise. Yeah. Let's see what we have. We have the hanged man. And this is how, uh, this hanged man is how you affect this person, Capricorn, most likely. They feel left out by you, five of pentacles. They feel a lack, a void without you. They could feel like they left you out, so now they're 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 missing you in their life, and uh, but they could feel like they had the sacrifice here, maybe because of their finances here, but they feel very much in lack without you. I feel like there's no worse lie, and then what I was going to say is that your parents, you know, they tell you not to lie to other people, but. They should be telling you, you know, and don't ever lie to yourself about reality, about how things are, about how you are, about how you conduct your life, about other people, about what's going on around you. Don't lie to yourself. Yeah, my friend over there with her big degree lies to herself every day. She Because she that's the only way she can cope. Because, you know... She knows really what's going on. She's not an idiot. She's a, she's a scaredy cat. Yeah. And if she, uh, you know, if she admits to what they are really doing here, it scares her to freaking to death. You're dealing with somebody who has been scared. And the uncomfortability, the uncomfortableness, if that is even a word here, that they have to deal with is waking them up to the fact that they are, have been lying to themselves. And the King of Swords is here. We also have another couple here. This is a divine couple, you and this person. And we have, uh, maybe they're an air sign, but this is a divine couple showing up twice. Your hopes and fears is, uh, you have uncertainties about this. It could be about them making a decision here. Because this is what this humanity card is about as well. It's about accepting something and making a decision. The Queen of Swords is going to be in your outcome with the Four of Swords. You're wondering here if you're going to be able to hold on to this person. Possibly you're wondering if they're just kind of holding on to their gold coins here, right? Um, but you're wondering here if... I feel like you're wondering down the line too if they're going to wake up. I feel like you are wondering that. So we're going to go to the extended. I really want to see it. And we're going to have their whole spread just like this where we're going to see the dynamic, how you guys affect each other. And we're also going to have a little kind of, you know, spread uh, who's in their environment. How they feel about you. What they want and what they're afraid of, right? Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and much more. And they're all super affordable, you guys. I have the link below. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.